battery fires. It's the fear every EV driver has in the back of their mind. Lithium packs can burn hot, fast, and almost impossible to put out. But here's a fact many don't realize. Gas cars still catch fire far more often. In the US, data shows around 1,500 gasoline car fires every single day, while EV fire cases remain in the hundreds per year. And now, with the upcoming 2026 Tesla Model 2, the question is simple. Will it really be safer? Or are we trading price for risk? So today we're digging into three things you need to know. What new battery tech Tesla may use and how it changes fire risk. How Model 2 stacks up against gas cars and rival EVS in real world safety. And what it means for older drivers worried about buying their very first EV. This is Auto Gear Shift. We don't waste your time with hype. We give you the numbers, the engineering, and the context no one else puts together. Before we dive in, hit subscribe and turn on the bell. We're pushing to hit 10,979 subscribers. And if you've ever wanted to be part of the crew that gets us past the five-figure milestone, this is the moment. Don't just watch Tesla news. Be one of the few who actually shapes the conversation. How could aluminum ion batteries finally end the fire risk for Tesla's Model 2? When we talk about EV safety, the numbers tell a sobering story. U.S. fire incident data shows roughly 170,000 gasoline vehicle fires every year, compared to fewer than 3,500 cases tied to EVS. Yet whenever a Tesla pack ignites, it dominates headlines because lithium-ion chemistry can burn at over 1,000 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt aluminum frames and requiring up to 30,000 liters of water to extinguish. That is why the focus has shifted to alternatives, and aluminum ion has emerged as a leading candidate for the 2026 Model 2. Aluminum ion offers a very different risk profile. Thermal runaway in lithium ion cells usually starts around 80 to 100 degrees Celsius, a range that can be reached in just minutes during a failed fast charge. In comparison, Aluminum ion cells have demonstrated stability up to 150 degrees Celsius, nearly doubling the safety margin before failure. Just as important, the electrolytes under testing are often solid or gel-based, eliminating the volatile organic solvents that have fueled so many lithium pack fires. For an EV buyer who remembers images of Teslas burning on highways, that change could be the single biggest reassurance. The advantages go beyond fire prevention. Prototype aluminum ion cells have posted charging times of under 10 minutes for a full cycle, compared to the 25 to 30 minutes that even Tesla's V3 superchargers typically require for lithium packs. That rapid turnaround means less cumulative heat buildup, one of the biggest triggers for pack failure during fast charging. Long-term durability also plays a role where most lithium packs begin to degrade after 1,500 to 2,000 cycles, aluminum ion has shown lifespans exceeding 10,000 cycles in lab conditions. That longevity reduces swelling and structural deformation inside the pack, both common precursors to short circuits and thermal runaway in aging batteries. Cost and sustainability add yet another layer. Aluminum is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, and trades at roughly $2,200 per metric ton, compared to lithium carbonate prices that even after recent declines still average around $13,000 per ton. Cheaper, more recyclable inputs mean lower cost packs and less hazardous waste at the end of life, both critical for a car like the Model 2 that aims to sell in the millions. The trade-off, however, lies in energy density. Tesla's aluminum ion prototypes are currently posting figures in the 150 to 200 watt hours per kilogram range, compared to the 260 watt hours per kilogram achieved by today's nickel manganese cobalt lithium packs. In practical terms, a 55 kilowatt hour aluminum ion pack would deliver an estimated 220 to 250 miles of range. Slightly below the 300 miles, a lithium pack of the same size can manage. Yet Tesla's ongoing lab work shows steady progress. 
and with its track record of scaling new chemistries, from early nickel cobalt cells to today's LFP packs, the company is clearly positioning aluminum ion as a production ready option. Unlike other automakers still stuck at the whiteboard, Tesla is already laying the groundwork to bring this chemistry into six figure annual volumes, aligning it with the mass market goals of the Model 2. What makes aluminum ion especially disruptive is its trajectory. While lithium technology is already near its performance ceiling, aluminum ion is still early in its curve, with lab tests hinting at energy densities that could climb beyond 300 watt-hours per kilogram once electrode design and electrolyte chemistry are refined. That would put it on par with, or even ahead of, today's best lithium packs, while still keeping the inherent advantages of higher thermal stability, faster charging, and longer cycle life. So here's the big question for you. If Tesla really brings aluminum ion into the Model 2, would you choose it over lithium? Comment aluminum if you'd go with aluminum ion for the extra safety and fast charging. Comment lithium if you'd stick with lithium for the longer range right now. And don't just drop a number. Tell us why in the comments below. If aluminum ion cells truly break the 300 watt hours per kilogram barrier, the impact on the Model 2 would be dramatic. A battery pack weighing just 180 kilograms could still store 55 kilowatt hours, enough to push range to around 350 miles in a compact hatchback. That's almost the same distance as today's 75 kilowatt hour lithium packs deliver in the Model 3, but achieved with 20 kilowatt hour less capacity and nearly 100 kilograms less weight. In practical terms, that means lower cost, faster acceleration thanks to reduced mass, and greater efficiency per mile. For a $25,000 car aimed at the mass market, hitting those numbers would make the Model 2 not only the safest EV in its class, but also one of the most efficient vehicles ever sold. Also, the implications for fire safety are clear. In a severe crash, an aluminum ion pack would be far less likely to enter runaway, and even if a module were punctured, the probability of ignition is dramatically reduced compared to lithium designs. For older buyers, many of whom grew up driving gasoline cars that could erupt from a single fuel leak, a Model 2 with aluminum ion could represent not just a cheaper EV, but the safest compact Tesla yet. If you've made it this far, it probably means you enjoy the way we break down Tesla and battery tech. If you want to go deeper, check out more of our videos. It's easy. Just head over to our channel and search for the keywords you're curious about, like Model 2, Aluminum Ion, or even topics like Tesla Safety. You'll find the full library waiting for you. Now, let's move on because we're not done yet. What exactly is Tesla changing in the 2026 Model 2's safety design? Beside the Aluminum Ion research, Tesla is shifting to a true cell-to-pack structure that removes traditional aluminum module casings, freeing up nearly 80 liters of space inside the chassis. That lets engineers pack cells more tightly, reducing the overall pack footprint from roughly 500 liters in the 2018 Model 3 to about 420 liters in the upcoming Model 2, a 16% shrink that also eliminates seams where heat could concentrate. Alongside the tighter layout, Tesla is layering in flame-retardant composites rated to 1,200 degrees Celsius for 4.8 minutes, compared to 600 degrees Celsius for barely 2 minutes on Volkswagen's MEB packs and 800 degrees Celsius for 3 minutes on BYD's blade casing. In practical terms, that extra 2 to 3 minutes of survival time can mean the difference between passengers evacuating safely and responders arriving before the cabin is lost. The monitoring system has also become far denser. Instead of the 12 to 14 probes per 50 kilowatt hours found in most current packs, Tesla is embedding 24 to 28 micro sensors per 50 kilowatt hour section in the Model 2, doubling detection coverage. Each sensor can report temperature shifts down to 0.1 degrees Celsius precision at 100 millisecond intervals with the battery management system able to cut current flow in under 10 milliseconds once a runaway spike is detected. For context, 
Today's industry average response is 50 to 70 milliseconds, meaning Tesla's setup is up to seven times faster at shutting down a dangerous event. Elon Musk has gone as far as to claim this will push thermal runaway incidents to close to zero once scaled to mass production. Independent validation is planned with UL9540A burn-through tests and NHTSA crash simulations in late 2025, but if results align with internal numbers, the Model 2 could set a new benchmark for fire resilience in compact EVs. So how does Tesla stack up against rivals like Toyota, BYD, and Volkswagen? Toyota has promoted its solid-state prototypes as offering inherently lower fire risk, but test units shown in 2023 were capped at 50 kilowatt hours and 100 cycles, nowhere near Tesla's target of 3,000 cycles at 55 kilowatt hours for the Model 2. BYD's Blade LFP packs are considered industry leaders for safety, with penetration tests showing no fire or smoke when pierced, but energy density tops out around 160 watt hours per kilogram. Volkswagen has invested in ceramic fire barriers for its upcoming SSP platform, yet internal estimates show their packs can sustain only about 90 seconds of open flame resistance before structural failure, less than half of what Tesla is building into the Model 2. At the end of the day, Tesla's Model 2 could change the conversation around EV fire safety altogether. But the real test will come once these cars hit the road in 2026. Do you think aluminum ion is the breakthrough Tesla needs, or will lithium still dominate the mass market? Would you trust a $25,000 Tesla with your family on long road trips? And how much does fire risk factor into your decision when choosing between gas and electric? If you want to stay ahead of the curve on Tesla's biggest updates, tap that like button and join us by subscribing. We're just a few clicks away from crossing 10,979 subscribers, and hitting that mark means we can bring you even deeper dives into the numbers that other channels skip. Don't just watch the news. Be part of the group that actually shapes it.